Hookahs originated in India, where they traveled through the Persian Kingdom to the Middle East, North Africa, and Egypt. During the 60s, hookahs then migrated to the United States of America, where they became the cultural phenomenon that they are today. In my home country, smoking hookah, it's a ritual. Everybody does it. You know, you go visit people or whatever you go, they offer you the hookah. It's sitting, you know, it's just growing up. I grew up with my grandfather smoking it every day. I was smoking the hookah. And when my grandpa shared this hookah with me, that's a great honor. That means not only that I'm a man in his eyes, but he likes me enough that he can hand me his hose. I think people in America uh, don't necessarily understand hookah and kind of what it stands for in the Middle East. I personally don't. I don't really understand. I know they use a lot and I'm sure it has a much deeper meaning, but for me it's kind of a more casual thing. I'm sure a lot of people over there are a bit more attached to it. It's a, a time-honored tradition, pretty much. Uh, it takes time to prepare it, so when you do prepare a hookah, uh, you have to do it with passion. It's like people that smoke the pipe. They clean it out on a regular basis and so on. I know a lot of people do uh, use it. We have a lot of people that come by and they tell us that, you know, this is actually pretty good because after smoking hookah, we don't have to worry about driving home as if you were to go to a bar. I think it really target that 18 to 21, you know, age group where instead of going to house parties and, you know, drinking where they shouldn't be, they come to uh, relax and smoke some hookah instead. That was like one of the first things on my checklist once I turned 18, where me and my friends, my friends and I were all like, Let's go to the hookah bar. Yeah, it's gonna be super fun. So I don't know. That that was my biggest incentive to start smoking hookah was turning 18. I guess. I don't know. It's just nice. It's a, it's a very good communal kind of thing to do. It's, it's in the center of everyone's. Everyone's carrying the conversation and passing the hookah around. It's not disgusting or gross, but it's just fun, man. It's a recreational thing. It gets people together to go out, and I don't think there's any reason for them not to try it. It's a social piece, and it's a piece for a person to spend 20 minutes, um, you know, to himself enjoying something um, he or she likes. To me, hookah is like an after dinner kind of uh, activity. Like you would go to the park or uh, have a picnic, eat your dinner or eat, eat your lunch or whatever, and then usually just sit back, sit around and smoke the hookah and ha as like a conversational piece, sort of say. The older generation uses, you know, they'll have a hookah for, you know, in order to socialize with friends. And it's the same thing with the younger generation. They use it to socialize with friends. If you're sitting there with your family and you want to introduce it to them, I don't see why not. I mean, not for them to smoke it when they were young, but it's for them to sit around and see what's going on so they can learn about it. Oh, it's becoming like more mainstream in the American culture. If you look at if it being kind of an extremely Middle Eastern thing and coming over now, I've seen there's this Persian restaurant where I'm from and it was only like Persian people in there doing hookah and then now it's everybody in there doing it and then Palo Alto's got hookah bars popping up, Mountain View's got had hookah bars popping up and stuff like that so I think it's kind of becoming more mainstream. My fondest hookah memory is sitting on my balcony with my grandfather and he used to always tell us stories and with him to smoke the hookah and he offered it to me to smoke and I tried it and I liked it and I asked him if I can have some more and he would give it to me at the end he goes wait a minute it's mine that's it you only take one or two hits you can't take any more but I always remember that everywhere I go or at least every party that I've been to when I was going through junior college um, there'd always be a hookah there set up and people always smoking it you know along playing with the beer pong and whatnot so yeah I would definitely say it's a uh, pretty popular in America and there's a lot of a lot of uh, hookah lounges that are opening up and whatnot yeah I'd say I'd say it's fairly popular I mean in all my circles of friends here in California and then in Boise and then even before that I mean it was always something fun to do well it's been always popular with the older generation with the younger generation as long as there is new flavors as long as there is something to keep it to where it is 
um, uh, it's their own thing as they call it, you know, then it'll stay popular. Sweet. Alright. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. You guys want some hookah? Yes, <laughs> <laughs>